Let me teach you how to create a product for your Teachers Pay Teachers store. First, we're in Canva and we click on Create a Design and select 8.5 by 11. This is a standard worksheet that we're creating. And I like to browse through the templates to see any of the pre-made templates that they have there, just in case I want to get some inspiration. Please note that you are not allowed to use Canva templates as products on Teachers Pay Teachers. However, Canva allows you to edit the templates to make it your own, as well as use the elements and the graphics in there to create digital resources. So I'm selecting a template that I like, and then I am just editing it to how I want. So I'm creating a spring story and I want to also add a word bank. So let's make a few revisions. So the first thing is I'm going to change the title and then for the name part, I'm going to select it. And then this text is called KG primary penmanship line. To create empty lines, you just hit the space bar when you're in that little text box. Okay, I'm going to continue to customize the directions and make revisions to the worksheet however I feel is best. Okay, so now we have our empty lines and these lines are a little bit small, so I'm just going to revise it by making them twice as big. And to do this, I'm just playing around with it and um, just editing it, dragging it, making it bigger, and then copy and pasting it so that I have a few lines underneath the drawing box. To duplicate, you can do Command D if you're unfamiliar with the shortcuts on Mac. Okay, so now that I have my lines, I'm just going to format it so that it fits right under, and then you're going to select all of them and group them together. That way they all stay together as one element. And I like to use the red lines as a guide to see if it's even. That's one of the reasons why I like Canva. And you'll notice I'll leave a blank space there but above the lines because I want to add a word bank. And I'm just moving everything up a little bit and formatting it. So now to create our word bank, we're going to go to elements on the left side and type in the object that we would like to add and include the word outline. So when you include, or actually when you go to photos, they have real photos there. But if you want to go to graphics where it's just like not photos, then you can go to graphics. And I'm selecting some child friendly images that children can actually draw themselves. And then I'm utilizing ChatGPT. Provide me with kindergarten words related to spring. And then we have a bunch of words there and I'm just picking and choosing which ones that I want to use for my resource. So then once I have my words, then I go back into Canva. And remember we have to select, we have to type in outline for our images to get the outline. I try to stay away from using a ton of color in my resources unless it's like an activity center that I created because a lot of teachers don't have color printing and if they're printing out something for their students they have to print out a lot so you got to make sure that you're keeping that in mind and then I also wanted to change the flower because I feel like this flower would be much easier for a kindergartner to draw rather than the other one that I chose okay so we have our images there and then just formatting it and then we're going to add text just by selecting add a text box and selecting a child-friendly font. So there are a lot of fonts you can choose. I like to stick to some very simple fonts that children will be able to easily read. And then I'm just using that for pretty much most of my resources that I create. So that way it's easy for them because one of the things that's my, my pet peeve is when People create resources and children can't read the text or the font. So anyways, yay, we made a page. Um, so let's preview our page. Download the page as a PDF. And you can see how it looks. All right, so we download it and then 
see how it looks. Here we go. Okay, so here's how it looks. And I think it looks a bit cluttered. So we're just gonna go back and edit it. And I want to only put four photos or four images and four text boxes at the bottom. And then we're gonna create a duplicate page by hitting duplicate at the top right. And then just using some of those words that we got from ChatGPT to create um, two more additional pages. And we've created three pages by just repeating the process that I showed you. So we have this one, this one, and this one, okay? So now we're gonna go back into our resource and we're gonna create a writing page without a word bank. So it's just a blank template. To do this, I just duplicate a page, remove the word bank, and then edit the box and the lines so that there is no word bank. And this is just a little trick you can do if you wanna like, you know, make it seem like your document or your file has more pages. Um, but anyways, <laughs> now we're gonna create a page for our word bank. So to do this, we added a table also from Elements and then we select the lock option so that way our table doesn't move because we're gonna be working in this document a lot. We're gonna copy and paste the word bank images and text and add it to the table and just formatting it. So this is actually a really good idea because teachers will be able to see the words that are included in this document and teachers can actually print it out and use it as a reference on the board if they want. Um, when talking about spring and it's just a very simple, easy document to make from the product or the pages that you've already created. So just continue to copy and paste those images in there to create another page. And we're going to lock that, uh, those lines so that we don't copy it and then copy and paste, group that so that way we can drag all of them together and then continue to format it so that each image is in a different box. Okay, now that we have all of our images, we're just going to change the text here by adding a text box and saying spring word bank. And that is how we created our document. So this is a resource that will be helpful for kindergarten, first grade, and second grade students.